Newcastle have a free kick. The game is still on. <laughs> <laughs> Newcastle have a free kick. The game is still on. Newcastle have a free kick. The game is still on. What on earth? I can't get over it. I can't get over it. Where are all the fans? You're too little. You're going to win the game. Where is everyone going? Hey guys and welcome back. As you can see, we are outside the Effiard Stadium this morning. Hot World kick off. You can see the bed here as well and truly out. The Castle's first game since the Carabao Cup final. And this is actually the fourth time I've been to Man City away. 2-1 loss, 3-1, 5-0. So it's fair to say it hasn't went too well in my three occasions here. And I mean, I've got to be honest, after being here last season with the 5-0 loss, we surely can't do any worse today. So let's just get out on that pitch. It's not necessarily about the result of this, it's about good, uh, putting a good performance in. This is the return for us in the Premier League. We've had a good month now where we've sort of stagnated a little bit. So it's important for us to get back into the floor of things. Wolves at home next week in the Premier League. That's a must win game for that if you want to be finishing in the top six onwards for Newcastle. So important test today, but I think it's going to be a good one. It's up to us to get out there and to show the fans what we can do. But anyway, guys, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, make sure you get down there and hit that subscribe on every single match this season I will be at. And also, if you like what you're watching, make sure you get down there and smash the like button. Well, further to, but let's get into it. How about a mags? Right, yeah. So this is the big one, y'all. We've got the sales back in for a shark and cushion. Interesting one. Obviously, big test for against Guardiola as Man City. But yeah, as well as our Wilson still starting, um, that's probably what I would personally change. I've actually bought my ticket as soon as it came out, and this is my view for the game. I mean, we are in the heavens. Number 10 is Jack I mean, it's a bit nasty, the booze. He has apologised to be fair for giving a fuck. But yeah. <laughs> I am terrified of that man. But how are the mags? Let's get out there. Free kick for De Bruyne, about 22 yards out, so chances are they're going to be screwed here. Hey! <laughs> what a shot! Nice shot. Half time here at the Etihad Stadium, Manchester City 1, Newcastle 0, and I have to say that it's the most frustrating game of football I've watched in a long time. Oh, I'm living in a half. Now, for Man City fans that are watching this video, by the way, I promise you I'm going to be non biased. I'm always fair in Newcastle, and I promise you I'm not going to give a, a one sided opinion. But I have to say, I think Man City are for the take, and I don't think they played well at all. I think they've been. I mean, I, I think honestly, I, I could come out in this game and say Newcastle played well enough to be at least drawing this match. Uh, City have been quite clinical in the game. They've only had two real chances, I would say, and obviously they, they took along a full forward. And from a defensive point of view, it's nowhere near good enough for them to go for us. When you, there's three players that can tackle the guy before he gets in the box. He just, he just walks for the team. He shoots, and just like last week in the Carabao Cup final, Botman blocks it and just deflects into the goal. I mean, it's the same, the same crap two weeks in a row. So yeah, for most, I think the defenders know they are good enough for the goal. And going forward, I think we have created enough to at least have a goal in this game where it's the same story as it's been in recent weeks. We're not taking our chances. The ball's dropping all over the place in the box and nobody's in the right area to put it in the goal. It's just so frustrating. Uh, fans are getting quite aggressive, so everyone's kicking the scenes, kicking off each other. And honestly, Newcastle, I think we deserve to at least have a draw from this game. I really think Manchester City are here for the take. And, like, all it takes is St. Max and Isak's second half. We get a goal and I fancy us to go and try and win the game. That's how serious I am. I really think City are honestly second best at times in this game. So it's up to us to 
give it a good go again. It's the same story as last week, not taking chances, not creating enough. But honestly, I think so far it's been actually good for Newcastle. I have to say I've been quite impressed with it so far. But yeah, uh, one mistake in the game has cost for the DRD, so second half has to be much better. I went Come on. Come on, shoot! Oh. Get in! Oh. oh my god, Jordan, that was not scored up. The, I don't believe Jordan has messed up. about a free kick. The stadium has it. about half people in. Time here at the FPR Stadium, Manchester City 2, Newcastle New. The biggest thing I can take away from that game is how the hell have we lost? I can't believe City have won this game. Uh, second half, especially when we made the free stub, St. Max from his second winning. The game completely turned on our field. We had them pinged in. Uh, Bernardo Silva goal that came completely against the winning play has killed us off and put City in different control to stay out the game. I can't believe how that game panned out. I think the cast have been robbed in the sense that we should have got something from the game. But it, it's our fault we didn't uh, get anything from the game. Because again, we're not taking a chance. I mean, our best chance of the second half, oh, the ball goes to Jordan. Quite literally, the guy has an open goal. He misses the ball. The guy misses the ball. Like, I can't believe them. Oh, our best chance of the half, the guy can't even kick the ball. It's mental. Uh, I mean, I've got to be honest, I, I, some people might think I'm making a big deal out of this, but I couldn't believe the amount of City fans that were leaving before the end of the game. We have thousands of people walking on the 85th minute. I know City win every week, but come on, this thing. I want to clap the players off and say well done. That was quite a big win for City as well, because that's the sort of win that, that won't sink towards the town, I feel like, because, well, City haven't played all three great, but still got uh, a good result against, with uh, an all due respect, that I'm going to sound a bit arrogant, yeah, but a good team, uh, and Castle played well, came right after you had to give it a really good go, so that's the sort of wins that good teams get, because City didn't play all three great, but they still got three points, so that's what a good football club is, so, I mean, the Castle plenty of positives here for that again, I know it's frustrating as hell, we're not getting the results, but I tell you what, that was a, a very good performance, and we should have got some of the day, um, I can't believe we haven't got anything for this game we should not be walking away with zero points but yeah uh, we need to beat Wolves next week without a doubt now we've got to beat Wolves anyway guys take care I'll see you all later